G'day viewers, Soul Loon Australia. This is inside a roof. It's a tin roof on the outside. As you can see out there. And inside we've got these fucking horrible things called steel trusses. Now you can't walk in the middle of these things. These spaces there, you can't walk in there. You have to swing like a freaking monkey from truss to truss without putting your foot in that middle bit there. Not to mention this crap blowing insulation, which just goes everywhere, is covering these little beams here, which you can put a little bit of pressure on, but not much. Um, yeah, not much fun to work in. It's autumn at the moment. I'm up in Mundaring. This is why I don't do full installs very often, guys. It's, uh, it's hard going on your own. Um, a job like this, we used to smash out in probably five hours. On my own, I'll probably be here two and a half days. Um, there's a couple of splits I've got to do. This is the conduit. Uh, so this is me, uh, heavy duty corrugated solar conduit, uh, as is that one. As you can see there, it's marked. It is specifically for solar. Um, and that is what we have to use. I've got to suspend that a little bit yet, better yet uh, using these steel cable ties. Um, but yeah, not a fun environment, especially in summer. Um, you have be in here and, and the water would just be like dripping off your nose, just drip, drip, drip. Then you've got all this sizulation up here, which has turned to shit. That all ends up in your hair. And um, for me, I end up looking like a fucking extra from Priscilla, the Queen of the Desert. Can you remember all that tinsel in my hair? Got be some in there now. I don't know. There's probably critters and spiders and all sorts of shit in there. But uh, yeah, not much fun, especially on your own. Um, definitely not the side of solar that I enjoy very much at all these days. Um, 53, the body doesn't quite bend the way it does or stretch or heal. Um, definitely a young bloke's game. So guys, if you're a homeowner and you've got tradies up in your roof, bring them out a nice cold drink. Um, I remember this one lady, we were there for two days, it was a big job, uh, Asian lady, and she bought us out a bottle of ginger beer, Bundaberg ginger beer, and a massive sort of slice of watermelon, and it was just, it was so much appreciated on a stinking hot Australian summer's day. So if you've got tradies up in the roof, guys, spare a thought for them, take them up a drink, see if you can uh, do anything to make their life a little bit easier and um, that will also make them inclined to do a, um, a top job for you as well. Cheers, guys.